Happy Hanukkah, guys. It's a season of miracles. And I'm thinking, uh, I think it was the fourth night, so two nights ago, I was thinking about how many miracles we experience in our own lives and how important it is for us to express those miracles in our lives. Um, a while back, we talked about possibly creating a gratitude log or having a, a little notebook that you would carry with you on a daily basis. And you'd simply write in there, uh, miracles that you see throughout the day. And the more you write and the more you um, remember the miracles, the more likely you are to see more and more miracles. So if you can think about things that God is doing in your life and find ways to be grateful, I believe you're going to see more and more miracles. If we can thank God for the fact that we have feet that allow us to stand and ears that allow us to hear and mouths that allow us to speak. And the fact that we have running water in our sink and we don't have to go out to the yard and pump the well or we don't have to go down to the river and uh, dip the bucket full of water. Like, you know, a lot of times we take those things for granted until they're not there. So if you can find ways to be thankful for all those uh, seemingly small things, I believe that Hashem is going to show you much bigger and bigger things. You see, ingratitude, at least from my perspective, ingratitude, when you're not thankful to God, it creates like a, a barrier um, to being able to experience more uh, faith and more miracles. Because whenever you don't have um, uh, gratitude, right, when you don't have thankfulness, you become very self-centered and you get a shell over the top of you that is unable to even have faith, really. It, it conceals, ingratitude conceals Hashem's loving kindness. And the more we're thankful, the more we see that grace and that loving kindness that comes from above and only comes from above. If you've ever met someone who's faithless, right? They're agnostics toward God or they really don't, um, have a way of offering thanks to something beyond themselves, or you don't see them offering thanks for those types of things beyond themselves or beyond nature, then um, you begin to see somebody who, uh, you know, who just really lacks, um, how do I say it? They, they lack the, the ability to see Hashem's loving kindness. So, it's not that they wouldn't see it if it was revealed to them, but it's almost like it's concealed to them because they don't have the ability to be um, grateful to something beyond nature or beyond themselves. So we as believers need to thank God. So if you were to say, hey, um, my buddy agnostic, um, why don't you begin to thank the creator? <laughs> they might say, well, how can I thank something that I don't believe in, right? So my question is, why don't you, or why don't I actually, say thank you more? Because I am a believer. So if I am a believer, I should be thanking God for every little detail. So if you find yourself like a small little just notebook that you can carry, a little spiral bound or something fits in your pocket or your purse, you could begin like, okay, I just saw, you know, the fact that um, I was driving. Well, don't do this while you're driving, but whenever you get stopped, I was driving and the car, you know, in front of me stopped immediately and I was able to actually put on the brakes even though I didn't have enough room. I did not hit them, right? So that's a, a, a fantastic miracle. Um, I just saw um, the, you know, somebody crossing the intersection and the, and the car avoided them and it was, you know, it was a miracle. So like you can see miracles like that. They're kind of beyond nature throughout the day, but you could also write down, you know, thank you, God, that that I was able to get out of bed this morning, that I didn't um, sleep too long. Thank you that, that my alarm went off and I, and I made it to work. You know, all those types of things where you can begin to say thanks. And the more grateful we are to God, the more miracles that he's going to show us because it begins to open up our sight whenever we say thank you for everything that we see, all the miracles that we see, and we begin to write down all of those things You'll look back at those at the end of the day and you'll say, wow, like God is revealing to me miracle after miracle after miracle. And you're going to say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he's going to open up more and more and more 
to you and uh, you're going to be more and more grateful. And just like the story of Hanukkah, like, okay, so we, um, we could have said, here's the fantastic thing that God did. Now let's throw a parade and we'll parade around all of the, you know, all the Maccabees are going to parade around and talk about how strong they are, right? No, the, what happened was we were wise enough to say, let's have a festival that talks about the miracles that happened. Let's, let's give thanks to God for his work and let's talk about that. If, if somebody doesn't display and doesn't speak about the miracles in their lives, then other people are not going to see it. So if you have the person who is agnostic or faithless, so to speak, how are they ever going to know if you don't share with them the miracles that are in your life? I mean, we have all of this stuff in scripture where all of the different people are faithful and we see the miracles in their lives and that has helped us to come to be believers and come to be faithful. So we likewise need to be sharing those miracles that happen with others. And that's really going to open things up for you whenever you begin to shine your light for other people and you say, look, this is what I saw God do. This is what I saw God do. This is what I saw God do. And I'm so thankful, I'm thankful, thankful, thankful throughout the day. Now your light is gonna to shine to others and it's gonna help them to begin to see the light of faith. May you continue to have a wonderful, miraculous, miracle-filled Hanukkah and may you receive many, many blessings.